Okay, here's the one of the ones with the brad nails as frets. I already glued this one on. This is this is one I made earlier. Still working on this one here. Actually, still drying. <laughs> okay, yeah, as you can see, these are all brad nails on here. And they work. got a piezo pickup in it. Just using a little mini orange crushed amp. They work. They sound okay. And that's about it. They work. I will, of course, I'm working on this one. Uh, I got it. Actually, I got to go out and buy some more wood. I pick, well, I got boxes. I got to pick up some more hard maple because that's what I use all the time on the next. I use hard maple wood. I made one out of oak. And I, that one I gave to my grandson. He wanted to, wants to learn how to play the guitar, so my daughter bought him a guitar, and then I, later on I made one, and then I gave him one of these. Now she says he tries to play the cigar box guitar more than a regular guitar, but that's okay. Uh, actually, I gave him a fretless one. I'll probably end up giving him this one or maybe another one, so he can learn how to play it with frets. And... We'll see what happens. Uh, the guitar I'm going to glue this on was a fretless one. So it's already built. I want to get some wood so I can uh, cut it all up and record it and show everybody how I make mine. It's not much different than anybody else's. We all have different ways and different tools uh, that we use. So like I said, if you see that video with all my tools in there that I use, that's all I use. I don't go crazy buying all kinds of other stuff and because I don't worry about it. It comes out fine. I use my file to, I'm sure I don't know you can pick it up on there, but I use my file to round it a little. And I file it all down. I mean, you can see where I filed it. You can see all the marks in the neck. I mean, I like that look. Just use rough look. Let me smooth on the hand. Everything's all sanded down nice. I got it. The one, I think I put four coats on this. Urethane. And then a coat of my varnish there. And this is the one I like because I got that. Oh, I can't show it. Well, it'd be upside down, but I like this. These are cigar labels that I just glued glued up here. I gotta go back get some more labels get a couple more good boxes and we'll be all set to do some more recordings of the full guitar and seeing this is my Swamp Ginky guitar channel I uh, will do it every time I record, every chance I get. Even though it's going to be the same thing over and over, I'd probably just be using different boxes. So it depends on what boxes I get from the uh, cigar shop and different pickups. Right now I just have some piezos on hand. I got to order up some uh, humbuckers and some single coil just for different sounds ways of installing different pickups so we'll 
we'll see what happens uh, along the road here. Alrighty folks, you take it easy and I'll catch you later.